So today we're going to be looking at premises, conclusions and valid, invalid arguments. So let's have a look at this one here. These are quite common uh, exam questions, so well worth getting to grips with. So we have premise one. If you studied logic, which we're going to call L, then you learned truth tables, which we're going to call T. Premise two is you studied logic and the conclusion is that you learned truth tables. And we have to say, is this a valid or invalid argument. Okay, well the rules here are A, we have to assume that the two premises are true and given that we assume that they're both true, is the conclusion always true? If the conclusion is always true, then it's valid. If the conclusion is not always true, then it's invalid. Okay, now let's have a look how we write this uh, using mathematical logic. So basically, premise one, if you studied logic, then you learned truth tables. That is here. L implies T. So that is premise one. And then premise two, you studied logic. And remember that we have to assume that both premise one and premise two are true. So therefore, we're saying that premise one is true and premise two, which is that you studied logic. Here's premise two is true and we want to find out if premise one and premise two are true then the conclusion which you learn truth tables t is also true so this is the conclusion and what we have to do is we have to manipulate this logic statement to see if it is always true i.e if it is a tautology okay so first of all let's have a look at uh, l implies t basically the way that we write that is not l or t, that's by the implication law. So we can rewrite our equation as not l or t and l implies t. And remember, what we're trying to do is prove whether this is always true. Now, by the distributive law here, we can rewrite that as not l and l or t and l implies t. Okay, now not l and l is never true. It can't both be not l and be l. By the identity law, that is always false or null. And false or anything is just equal to the anything. So we can rewrite that again as t and l implies t. Okay, now we're going to again use the uh, implication law to rewrite that as not t and l or t exactly the same as we just did up here and then by de morgan we can expand this bit that will be not t or not l or t and by the associative law we can write that as not t or t or not l and not t or t well, clearly is always true. It's always got to either be T or not T. So that is true. And true or anything is still equal to true. And therefore, for any values of T or L or anything, this statement here is always true. And therefore, the conclusion is a valid argument. OK, now, generally speaking, this is actually called the law of detachment. And if we have here, as a general rule, premise one is that A implies B, or if A, then B. Premise two is A, and the conclusion is B. By the law of detachment, this is always a valid argument. OK, so now let's have a look at one which is slightly different. What we've actually done here is we've flipped around premise two, and we've flipped around the conclusion uh, and let's see if this is a valid or invalid argument it's similar it's not exactly the same so premise one is the same if you studied logic then you learn truth tables premise two now is that you learn truth tables and the conclusion is that therefore you must have studied logic so we want to know okay is that a valid argument i.e is this a tautology always true so here we have again premise one which is if you studied logic then you learn truth tables. And we have to remember, assume that both premises are true. And T, i.e. premise 2, you learnt truth tables. So that's premise 2. And does that mean, therefore, the conclusion here, there's the conclusion, that you must, therefore, have studied logic. 
OK, so what we have to do now is we have to manipulate this logic statement to see if it is all true. And again, we're going to rewrite this as not L or T. So we have not L or T and T implies L. OK, now by the distributive law, we have that that is not L and T or T and T. Oops implies L. Okay, now let's have a look at this. Well, T and T is clearly just T, so we have not L and T, or T implies L. Now let's just have a look at this. We have not L and T, so that is a subset of T, or T. Well, a subset of T, or T, by the absorption law, is just T. So we're left now with T implies L. OK, so or by the impl implication law, therefore, we have not T or L. So this entire expression here simplifies to not T or L. OK, now, where are we? Uh, not T or L. Yeah, sorry, my, my bad. Uh, so we've got not T or L. Now, let's look back at the premise here. We Remember, we have to assume that the premises are true. So we have to assume that T is true because it tells us that we learnt truth tables. So if T in this case is true, then not T is obviously equal to false, which means that not T or L in this particular case just simplifies to L. Now the problem here is that L, i.e. we studied logic, is not specifically stated in either premise 1 or premise 2. So it is not certain that L, i.e. we studied logic, must be true, it could be false. And so therefore, this statement here is not always true, it could be false, and so therefore this is an invalid argument. Okay, now generally speaking, this type of argument, where we have premise 1 is A implies B, and premise 2 is B, and therefore the conclusion is A, this is called fallacy of the converse and it is invalid. And just as a reminder, with the, the previous one was premise 1 was A implies B, premise 2 A, and the conclusion was B. That was a valid argument by the law of detachment. So you just have to be well aware, in actual fact, when you're in an exam and you're looking at these premises and conclusions, all you have to do is remember these two patterns. If it's this pattern here, then it is not a valid argument, and if it is this pattern here, then it is a valid argument. OK, well, I hope you found this useful. If you have, please like this video by pressing the little thumbs up button and subscribe to the Gracie Academy YouTube channel. Thank you.